Hi, we're at another great Central Florida lake here, looking for some good Florida largemouth bass, and they have been pretty active, so we're going to see what's going to happen here this morning. We're going to try a little bit of topwater bait, and of course my all-time favorite, some plastic worms on the bottom. We're going to get back to fishing. We brought Tim on our boat, so he has um, a little more room to fish here. We're doing more artificial fishing on this boat. And, um, the other boat, they're using live shiners, but Tim wants to try his hand at some artificial, so in fact, I think he just missed one. Um, so we're going to give him a try on this boat and show him exactly how to do it. He pretty much knows what he's doing, obviously. Um, we're going to try and catch us some fish on some of these uh, stumps with these worms. It's a lot easier to maneuver a bass boat than it is one of those big flats boats through here. So He's mighty nervous. Reel up just a little bit so he doesn't get in that stick. See that stick he's heading towards? Pull him back just a little. Oh, man. Wait, wait. Don't set the hook. Reel down. Feel him. Reel down. Feel him. Come on. Come on. Get him. Big fish. Big fish. You got him coming? Crank, get that rod up near it, crank. Get it up high. Okay, uh, all right. Good job. Okay, don't reel no more. Good fish, quality fish. That fish got, when he set the hook on that fish, the fish immediately headed right down in the heavy cover. These fish aren't stupid. They know where to go to hide and get away from you. But Pete's per persistence there, with a little bit of pressure on the hook, and then dropping the rod, give it a little slack, let the fish turn its head, he worked it up right out of that brush. Gorgeous fish. Look how healthy that fish is. Good job, Pete. All right, fish on up here, fish on. Good job. Yeah, he's under a stump. We'll get right to him though. See these bass boats go right to the fish. There you go, I'm gonna let you have the bow of the boat. Just keep him away from the trolling motor and I'll work him down. Oh, that's a good fish there. Ooh. Come here, baby. That's a nice, pretty fish. Thank you. See, when you change to that color, good things happen. Donnie, you should follow this guy around. Look at stick to go. <laughs> well, look, feel the belly on that fish. She is full of eggs. That is a pretty fish. We got one down here in the back. You notice how I lifted that up and, and brought line to the to the fish? Okay, turn the reel handle. Rod straight with him. Hit him. Hit him. You got him. Oh, nice fish. Keep him up. Nice fish. Bring him over here on this side of the boat. A little bit more. Another quality fish. I tell you what, it just doesn't get any better than this. Yes, they are. Absolutely gorgeous fish. I tell you what, I, you know, I've been fortunate. I've fished all over, and you just cannot beat these fish in Central Florida. You want a good time fishing in the state of Florida, come to, come to the central part of the state. Oh, this is a big fish. This is a big fish here. He's pulling drag. Oh, boy. Oh, don't get in there. Come on this way there, big girl. Come on over here. Come here, tiger. 
Boy, that's a big fish there. That's one of the ones you come here for. That is a nice, nice fish. Oh, there we go. Now that's what we're looking for here. I'll tell you what, fish like this, you just cannot beat. George picked this up on a worm. Good job, George. Now this fish gave George a fight for his life. Took him down in the wood, in the grass. Everybody hang on here. Beautiful fish. I tell you what, there's a double digit fish if I've ever seen one. Is that a gorgeous fish or what? Healthy as can be. Gorgeous fish. Well, actually the when she hit it, she just she just tapped it. Like she was coming along a stump and I just seen the line move just a little bit. So I reeled, reeled down to it, set the hook on her. <laughs> and um I set the hook and she just took off. I couldn't stop that fish from swimming. Even if I cranked down all the way on my drag, that fish was in no way ready to come in the water, come in the boat. It was, um, it was a tough fight, keeping her away from the stumps and the grass. But um, she, when, she, when I set up on that fish, she was taking off. She wanted no part of this boat because she wasn't but a foot from the boat when she hit it. And when they see the boat, they will take off on you. That's some more proof of showing how good these fish are here. George is working that worm slow and easy along that grass, and that big female picked up that worm, and by God, she was not coming home. She was heading to China. She did everything she could, and George just put it to her, and he got her to the boat. I didn't think he was going to get her, but he did a heck of a job.